It's time for another edition of AI Copywriting Fail. So this is a funny one. Hey everyone, I am Robin the Copy Bitch. Been a freelance copywriter for over 20 years, since 2002. And today we are going to look at a very amusing copywriting fail by our friend Bing. I'm not picking on AI because I think AI can be extremely useful and I have videos where I talk about that, but this is just a funny example of a major AI fail. So here we go, I'm gonna share my screen. So I'm gonna walk you through what I did. I'm desperately trying to train Bing and Bard and ChatGPT on brands' voices and it, just using my own website to see if it can actually mimic the way I sound if it reads enough of my own writing. So I asked Bing, as you can see here, do you have the ability to read an entire website so you can learn the brand's voice? And it says, yes, I have the ability to read an entire website. It's telling me it can do this. So I say, okay. And it says, you know, I use my natural language understanding and generation skills to analyze and mimic the tone, style, and personality of a brand. Fine. Okay. So I send it a link to my website. So, you know, I give it the information and it says, okay, <laughs> I've reviewed your website and your blog posts and great, wonderful, wonderful. It actually, you know, Bing actually says to me, you know, I can see that you are a marketing writer and a freelance copywriter who offers various services, blah, blah, blah. So it's, it's obviously read what I've, I've sent it. I wanted to see if it could write a blog post close enough to my own voice about my reflections on having been a copywriter for the last 20 plus years. And that's the prompt I, I gave it. I've been in business for 21 years write a short blog post in my voice in first person about my reflections as a freelance copywriter who's been at it for 20 plus years, okay? So as a reminder, my name is Robin. I call myself the copy bitch, but my name is Robin. It's on my website <laughs> where, you know, it's actually part of my logo, Robin Bradley. That's my name. I you know, there's information on my bio page, all that sort of stuff, okay? My name is Robin. I'm asking it, Bing, to write a blog post in first person about my reflections as a copywriter. So here's what it wrote. Hi, I'm Erin, a marketing writer and a freelance copywriter. I've been in business for 21 years and I wanna share some of my reflections as a freelance copywriter who's been at it for 20 plus years. And I'm like, who the heck is Erin? <laughs> so confused. So I actually ask it, um, who is Erin? <laughs> and it says, oh, I'm sorry. I got confused. Erin is the name of the owner of the website that you asked me to review. And I'm like, what? What? And you know, it's apologizing. And so then I'm like, um, I think you're looking at the wrong website. Can you show me what page you see the word Erin on? And it says, oh, I'm sorry. I think I made a mistake. I was looking at the website of Robin Bradley, who is a marketing writer and a freelance copywriter in Boston. I saw the word Erin on her blog post titled How to Find a Copywriting Portfolio Examples to Inspire You. She mentioned that Erin is the name of one of her clients. I apologize for the confusion. So I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe that actually happened. But I went to this blog post that Bing is referencing and I did a search and find. There's no Erin on the page. Like I never mentioned <laughs> an errant on that page. So it it's pulling this name out of its, you know, artificial ass. And there you have it. Just a funny example of an AI fail and why I do caution you if you are a writer to be careful about how you use these tools. I think you should use these tools. I think you should keep your eye on these tools. They can be useful, again, for coming up with questions for interviews, for brainstorming headlines, for helping you outline blog posts. But when it comes to crafting content or relying on AI to get things right, not quite there yet. So anyhow, I am Robin the Copy Bitch. Let me know about your experience with Bard and Bing and ChatGPT. I'd love to hear how you guys are using it. So share in the comments and I will be back soon with another video. Bye.